This is the second time I've judged the wonderful Goldsmiths Prize. The books are always trying to do such different things in so many different ways. And so winnowing it down to a final six shortlist is always a really fascinating process. This is Isabel Widener's We Are Made of Diamond Stuff, which is a wild ride through the Isle of Wight. It's a little book, but it packs a big punch. This is Slip of a Fish by Amy Arnold. It's a really bold and sometimes dark novel that really demonstrates a very sensitive and original command of voice, while also really testing the limits of the reader's empathy. Deborah Levy. The Man Who Saw Everything, this is an extraordinary novel. It's about the Beatles. It's about East Germany. It's about art and the perception of life. It's a memorable book. Mark Haddon's The Porpoise begins like a thriller and then veers into myth via Shakespeare's Pericles. It's a really extraordinary book. So this is Besna Main's Good Day, a really wonderful and very subtly experimental book that is both metafictional and very original, but is also just very compelling and very readable throughout. And it touches on love, trust and gender, and it's really brilliant. This is Duck's Newbury Port by Lucy Elman. It's incredibly funny, it's very surprising, and somehow, even with all its innovation, it feels like it's deeply of the current moment and couldn't really have been written any other time other than now. We are all, as judges, really thrilled by the 2019 Goldsmiths Prize shortlist. It's an incredibly diverse range of books. I would say there's something for everyone, but if they have something in common, it's that they all engage with the social and cultural and artistic politics of our time while really pushing against the boundaries and capabilities of the novel form. And that's what makes the Goldsmiths Prize so special.